Did somebody order the Shield and Ultimate Edition? Oh, we surely did. Well, that and, of course, the WHF Universe. Beastie, I know you want to see that promo look in Ultimate Edition. <gasps> we got Bobby Lashley coming back over here in Series 103, but in UE. Dean Ambrose, Lunatic, let's take it in, buddy. Yeah! Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Phase. We're going to be doing some customs, fake subs, and we also need to revive the shield. But on this go around, you guys, we are going to bring them back here in Ultimate Edition. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns. Well, we've already got him, and we've already gotten one version of Seth Rollins. But this one, you guys, this is going to be a thing of beauty. Now, as you guys know, Elite Series 103 did bring Roman Reigns. And I'm actually going to use this figure for two specific reasons. One, obviously, do some fixed ski ups. He used to do the shield big dog, right? Second, I'm actually going to utilize the lower legs right here from Roman Reigns, heat them up, and pop them onto the Seth Rollins. Now, you may be asking yourself, like, you're fix. What are you doing? Well, this is what we're doing, man. I'm going to go ahead and recreate Seth Rollins in his shield gear. And given the fact that the top piece of this already has the belt buckle, we're already one way there, right? The only other thing that we will have to do, apart from swapping out the legs, is remove all of these designs. And they're all going to happen right now within the video. So drop a like and definitely... Stay tuned to the end if you want to see the final results. I really think that Seth Rollins right here in the Shield theme, it's going to be insane, you guys. Now, the other thought, too, that we had in mind was the Sweet Chin Love, right? As you guys know, this torso, I feel like, is perfect for, like, an early Shawn Michaels. So we're going to go ahead and crack this torso and bring it over here and then add on that head scan that we got in the most recent defining moments. It's going to be insane, you guys. Really cannot wait to see how that looks. Now, the Beast Barack Lesnar, he also wants a conversion, you guys. Now, the thing of it is, is that he doesn't need it in his actual in-ring gear. We've already done that. That right there has already been done by Mattel. This go-around, we are going to give him the promo street theme look with his jean lower half. Now, as you guys know, we got a few different options to play around with. We can either A, use the one that we got right here in the run and chase. B, use the one from the three-pack that we got with Paul Heyman. Or C, you can get the regular one that came with it. So we're going to definitely play it out. We're going to have the jeans over here on the Ultimate Edition torso. And that is going to be happening right there at the end of the video. Now, as far as Dean Ambrose, another man that needs the Ultimate Edition love, right? As you guys know, he's already over there in AEW. And this might be a late transition, but I still would love to see that happen. Now, the one piece that we'll, we will definitely need without a shadow of a doubt will be this head scan. We never got like an actual updated head scan from Mattel with the short hair. So this one from BEW is going to play out really well over here. But we are going to need Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Texas Rattlesnake. I'm going to crack the torso on Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I'm going to put it on the jean pants and then add the head scan to make the perfect Stone Cold Steve Austin, man. This is going to be such a good video, you guys. We're going to go ahead and actually go through it, all of it right now. We're going to need a couple of these. So these right here are going to be an absolute must. Big Dog, Roman Reigns, Beastie, Shawn Michaels, you better dial it up. Not your boy, Toy. Let's get him cracked, buddy, boys. Here we have them all done up. Now, before we do get into the shield, I actually want to show you Bobby Lashley because this is one of the things that I promised you. Now, as you guys know, Elite Series 103 did bring Bobby Lashley in his United States Championship theme. Only difference, though, was that it was an elite. Now, one thing we had to do, and as you guys know, the quality control issue on the torso that ended up coming to mind, it was all busted up on the sides. So having this right here with the Mr. T look, man, this thing is pure beaut. I like the fact that the whole color of it, right, the lower half extremities with the title, this thing looks freaking insane. So having Bobby Lashley all addressed from Series 103, something that definitely needed to get done. Now, let's burn it down. Because this one right here, this is one that anybody can do. Have you guys seen Ratatouille? They say that anybody can cook. Well, guess what? 
Anybody can pop the hip socket off an elite onto an ultimate edition to make a Seth Rollins, man. That's a real deal. You don't got any special talents to have that. You don't need a torso, Craig, which as far as playability, that's where you're really going to reap the benefits. Now, as you guys know, last custom fix of video, we had the hair drip skis right there with the update. So this is going to be more based on like a return. So if you wanted to see him shirtless in the whole like shield look, this thing looks insane. Again, full articulation, lost absolutely nothing. Matter of fact, you can pull these down similar to what you could do right there with the Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition. And I like this, you guys. With the belt, I'm telling you, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins can definitely bring it up here and say, oh yeah, buddies, we are the one. Now let's get over here with Dean Ambrose because this man right here, Needs no introduction in Ultimate Edition, right? After all, as you guys know, this man, we can't do this anymore, right? We can't have him over here in the Mattel figure release series and have him in AEW. But the way that he's looking over here, bro, this is the only Moxley that I would need in my collection. And I do think that the overall execution, you guys, came out really damn clean. I love this. I ended up adding also... The additional hands right there, I found them in the fodder bin to give it that true authenticity that he does with the wrist straps. And I do feel like the BEW head scan sits on there beautifully, you guys. I had a couple of these laying around, and I feel like this one is definitely doing up right there with all three. Now, Roman Reigns, we didn't leave him in the trenches. No, we added a little bit of bonus, right? We added the shirt. We added the glove. We added the hand because we couldn't do it before, right? Before, we could do it maybe as a thought or maybe just as a skin tone but never with the gloved hand so pretty cool that we have it all wrapped together man like this wouldn't be a piece if all three weren't here and one thing that i would love to do drop a like you guys i need to find myself the old shield box repackage these and have them all set up right there inside the packaging looking like this man just think about it right how beautiful would that be well actually we won't know unless of the beast barack Lesnar comes up. Now, here's an idea, right? This is just an idea, but keep in mind. As you guys know, Paul Heyman, he's no longer doing no beastie boy. Matter of fact, he's got Big Dog. What if Paul Heyman was the general manager over here for the return of the Shield? I'm telling you, Dean Ambrose would have to reset. Now, let's get over here. Let's talk about Brock Lesnar because this man has officially declared himself in the promo look in the Ultimate Edition, which actually works out pretty damn good, you guys. I really, really like this. Now, originally, I was going to use that one, but I ended up fighting the actual one from the three-pack, from the, you know, the Paul Heyman three-pack. It was him, Roman Reigns, and I think the shade on them work a lot better for this. Give me your thoughts. Is this something that you guys like? Is this something that Mattel should release? Drop a like. That way, Mattel, they know exactly what they need to throw down in future Ultimate Edition release figures. This thing is so insane, you guys. Look at this. We got Shield. We got Beastie Boy. And we got Seth Rollins knocking down Paul Heyman because I don't think he agrees of him being the manager. <laughs> All right, look at that, you guys. We're not done. No, all right, so we got Paul Heyman. We got Bobby Lashley over. We've got to bring all these guys so you guys can see all this beautiness that's being unveiled right now in this video. Now, I got some bad news for you guys. As you guys know, it's not always good news, and it is trial and error. Now, the good news is that the head scan right here from the recent Defining Moment Shawn Michaels, it actually works really good with his very first Ultimate Edition. Now, keep in mind, there was no butterfly joints involved during this time. So, as far as it being like a true Ultimate, it can't be that. Unless if we got that Seth Rollins torso cracked over here. Now, the bad news was when... We ended up, to or torso cracking the Seth Rollins torso. Mattel ended up putting a brand new peg inside, which means that the only body that this is going to go onto is either A, the Seth Rollins, the one that you're already seeing on there, or B, Jake the Snake Roberts, which I don't know why the hell you'd be putting this torso on there, because they're the, the only two Ultimate Edition figures that had that stupid peg, and I'm going to call it that, you guys, because they ended up preventing us from making this Shawn Michaels truly ultimate. Like, yeah, this looks good, I love it, but I really do think that the Seth Rollins torso would have worked a lot better. Now, we're not even done, because right here, Vinnie Mac wants to check out which one you guys prefer. Now, personally, this is all on personal preference, right? If you're talking about like an earlier Vince McMahon, I truly think that this Ultimate Edition on the left suits him a lot better, right? The guy was on the cover of Muscle and Fitness. He was freaking huge. And this one we've already covered. This is using that uh, 
Hulk Hogan upper torso from the very first Hollywood Ultimate Edition release. This one, on the other hand, someone had messaged me on Instagram and it's like, Hero Fix, I saw what you did with that promo, Eddie. Anyway, you could try that out right there with Vinny Mac. And I feel like both work out pretty good. I mean, with the shirt, obviously it really doesn't matter. But scale proportion, this is definitely better for a later Vince McMahon. Now, ain't that right, Hero Fix? Yeah, we sure are. Now, one last thing I want to show you is Cody Rhodes. I love that head scan, man. That defining moments was great, but I'll tell you what. Actually, it was the top picks. But it didn't have the screaming look right here that we're getting it. So having it right there on these tights, I truly think that this is the way that we should have gotten. I mean, think about it. We've already seen the head scan that already came with this. So had they introduced this, this would have put people off until they got their Ultimate Edition Cody. But give me your thoughts, man. Let me know what you guys think. Did we cover plenty of Ultimates? Did we have Shawn Michaels fail on us? Obviously, but you know what? That's part of the game. And what? how do you guys feel, right? How do you guys feel about the Shield right here finally being released in Ultimate Edition? Now, keep in mind, this is WHF exclusive content. You might never see it in Mattel. So, again, if you guys are stopping by for the first time, definitely hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and we'll see you, Shield Skis, on the next one. The Lunatic is coming back!